This dive was filmed in the depths of winter. Here you can see a bay pipefish which was foraging near the sea anemone. Pacific Northwest Samson has some nice footage of a similar anemone eating a pipefish. I was experimenting with a handheld movie light. You can see a lot of backscatter here. I still haven't found a movie light and mount combination I like. I left my wide-angle camera on the bottom here, but the only thing that swam by was the seal. The highlight of this dive were these dense growths of northern feather duster worms. They formed a small forest along this horizontal cable, stretching for as far as I explored. They were also growing on the pilings, but interestingly, only between about 6 and 8 meters. A rough rule of thumb in shallow water is that the shallowest depth is determined by a physical factor, and the deepest depth is determined by some biological interaction. In this case, I suspect that salinity, or maybe temperature, are limiting the worm's shallowest depth. They seem to be growing just below the deepest summer thermocline. I don't know what is limiting their expansion into deeper depths, possibly a predator. The pilings had all sorts of other life, including schools of shiners, which are absent elsewhere in winter. That's probably why these fish-eating anemones survive here. After 70 minutes of diving, I was starting to shiver. The pilings were in a small bay and local creeks were flooding the surface with 5 degrees centigrade water. It was definitely time to get out and warm up. 